If you are having bad temperatures on your Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, then is a bracket like this AM5 secure frame in black going to do the job? And we've seen on Intel, a lot of people have reported that they do make a difference for temperatures. I'm gonna be testing out a couple of these brackets pretty soon as well, so stay tuned for that. But I was really curious to see if this one on AM5 could lower the temperatures. So inside the box, you get four screws, an etched Allen key, and the bracket itself. So it's time to put this thing on and see if it makes a difference. Never pay full price for Windows 10 or 11 again. With today's video sponsor, SCD Keys, you can get activated for as little as $15 using that coupon, BFTYC. Links in the description below. So we've just finished installing this bracket right here and it was extremely easy, straightforward, and everything fit flush the first time around. The screws all went in and wow, I gotta say the build quality seems pretty decent, especially for something so inexpensive. And the good thing was too, I didn't really have to take apart my water cooling install before mounting this either. So very straightforward, very easy to do. However, before we mounted this bracket, we did do some tests on both an air cooler and a water cooler. So we're going to do the before and after results and show them for you guys to see if the most important thing that this uh, bracket needs to do is going to work and that's lower our temperatures. So we've just finished testing out the water cooling results here. We've got the Arctic freezer 2 420 mil water cooler and what we saw here was 16 core mode as well as 8 core mode so we decided to replicate a 7800x3d in these tests as well we saw a drop on 16 core mode of roughly two degrees that's the total cpu temperature but also decided to test level 3 cache as well as the die temperatures themselves and so these dropped down a little bit as well in tandem but the biggest drop was in the overall cpu temperatures Going over to eight core mode, however, where we're using less wattage now, we're going from roughly 140-ish watts down to low 90s in the watt range on eight core mode, we saw the temperatures only drop one degree. So you've got roughly a two degree drop and then a one degree drop. So it does make a difference slightly for water cooling, but now we're gonna change over to air cooling mode and see uh, if the snowman just a regular entry level sort of air cooler that does a pretty good job, mind you, can change with this bracket. So we've got some good and bad news here. And the bad news is that with the bracket on, with the air cooler, with eight core mode, we're actually thermal throttling with this 7800X3D simulated to 89 degrees. However, when we went into Ryzen Master, we we're able to lock in the eco mode. And because we're running just slightly over 90 watts in this eight core configuration, when we turn on eco mode, it puts in a 90 watt hard limit. And because it thinks in Windows, it's a 16 core, usually on the 16 core, it's going to drop down the clock speed significantly and hit in that 90 watts, going from 140-ish watts down to 90. But because it's the eight core mode from the BIOS, it's really only dropping it down like four or five watts. And this is actually enough now, however. The good news is it's enough now to get some before and after tests because our maximum temperatures are around about 87 degrees. So we're still just two degrees under, but it's gonna be enough now to get some accurate results. So let's go put the default bracket back on now and uh, see if it makes a difference for air cooling. So we now finished up the testing on the air cooler and the results were anywhere but dramatic for the air cooler where we got 86.9 degrees, literally versus 87 degrees. So 0.1 degree difference. There is virtually no difference for air cooling here. And then going over to level three cache, that was slightly lower at 45.7 versus 46.7. So if you're going with air cooling on AM5, I would say the cooler itself, it costs around 20 bucks shipped. The bracket costs $8, 
that's kind of a significant cost. So if you're going for that pure value play with AM5 and you're waiting for say cheaper motherboards and you'll get a $20 air cooler, this bracket's not really gonna be worth it for you. It's not gonna make a difference either with the temperatures that we saw here today. But if you're going for water cooling, this is where we did see a consistent drop of two degrees. So if you're going out and spending hundreds of dollars on a motherboard, 150 bucks on the water cooler here, the Arctic Freezer 2. And also something to keep in mind is this air cooler is pretty much one of the best air coolers out there, period. And so I think when you're getting to this level of performance, the $8 is going to be justified in that segment. So basically high-end cooling options, you can see a slight drop in temperatures on AM5, but then when it comes to budget air cooling, there's virtually no difference at all. And I think this is kind of different to what I've been hearing on the Intel side, but that being said, I will get into the tests for the Intel brackets, especially with 13th gen, and see if it makes a difference there. But in the meantime, this one, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was actually really curious to see, but another added benefit is, I mean, minus this dirty thermal paste that I'm yet to clean off, is that it can, I guess, improve the aesthetic of your build. So this bracket, I guess it does look aesthetically more pleasing than the default bracket that's included with your motherboard, the latch method. So actually, if you're going for an all out top of the end build, and you want something, especially if you've got a black motherboard and you want something that color codes that motherboard, then this bracket will also slightly improve aesthetics. I mean, once you put the water cooler on, you don't see it at all. Though speaking of aesthetics, they've also got this in red as well. And the final thing to talk about is the mounting was straightforward. I bought this randomly off the internet so they didn't send me over a golden sample or anything. The others will have problems. This thing's machined very accurately. It's going to work flawlessly when you put it on. And that's about it. So I guess depending on who you are, this could benefit you, but if you're on a budget, it's not going to really benefit you at all. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of this custom bracket. If you have any other questions, be sure to drop them down below in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also with that said, I love reading those comments, just like this question of the day here, which comes from AX4400. And they say, thanks for the video. We'll try those settings on my tough B450 plus AMD 3600 CPU. Got so hot without load, it scared me and shut it shut down right away. Have to see if I can follow your instructions with transcripts. For your information, your links to AliExpress aren't working for me in America. So they're referring to our video where we looked at the 3600 temperatures with the stock cooler versus aftermarket solutions. And in that video, I do put AliExpress links when I've got products like these uh, in the description. Though in terms of those AliExpress affiliate links, sometimes the website is just broken. It doesn't show the product that I'm talking about in the video. And I had this happen recently actually with another product and I had to directly make a bit.ly link to the product because it just wasn't working for people. So AliExpress, sometimes their website can just be buggy, I guess. And I've never had this problem on eBay or on Amazon. So it seems like it's just exclusive to AliExpress. And I do take a look at AliExpress products quite a lot here at Tech Your City because they offer really good value for money and uh, a lot of the time. So it's just sad that sometimes the links are broken and I can't do anything about that. So I do apologize for that. If the links are broken, maybe just try um, finding the product in a completely fresh new browser. I think it's just Control Shift N if you're in say Microsoft Edge, for example, and that'll bring up a private browser and then you can go to Aliexpress and see if the product comes up that way. Anyway, hope that answers that question and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon if you stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech Yes content, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.